Let's have a look inside the most luxurious palaces in the world. Number 7. Willano Palace One of the only landmarks in Warsaw to remain untouched by the world wars, the stunning Willano Palace is the Baroque gem of Poland. Built for King John III Sobieski, the vanquisher of the Turks in Vienna who stopped their march through Europe in 1683. Once inside, you may take in the splendor of the palace's royal suites on the main floor. These were the chambers where the royal couples partied, listened to music, and met their friends before eventually unwinding after a long day at work. Then on the first level, there's the Gallery of Polish Portraiture, which houses effigies of Polish monarchs amassed over centuries. You could also stop for a moment and explore the white room to see the photographs of other palace owners and people associated with it. And you also can't miss the beautiful 17th century sundial located at the back of the palace. Stroll around the incredible gardens or just take in the grandiosity and brilliance of both the interior and exterior designs, the Polish Versailles will remain in your memory for a long time. Number 6. Topkapi Palace Behold the imperial complex of Ottoman sultans at Topkapi Palace, the royal residence in Istanbul throughout the first 400 years of the Ottoman Empire. It has been a museum since 1924, a year after Turkey became a republic, luring tourists with elaborate tiled walls and collection of gems, antiquities, and textiles, as well as courtyard gardens dotted with trees and fountains. To comprehend the palace's enigmatic radiance, it is important to first learn a little about the exceptional man who built it. After conquering what was then Constantinople, Sultan Mehmed II began the palace's construction in 1459. He created a complicated arrangement with his private chambers in harem at the center surrounded and protected by four courtyards. The ancient imperial treasury currently houses an exhibition of intricately made Ottoman armor and weapons. And of course, a Turkish palace wouldn't be complete without an elaborate bath complex for relaxation and beauty treatment. Add an aviary and exquisite flowering gardens and you have one of the most luxurious palaces in the world. Number 5 Peña Palace. On a hilltop high above Sintra sits the Palace Nacional de Peña, one of the most distinguished tourist attractions in Portugal that exemplifies Romanticism style of architecture from the 19th century. It used to be a chapel accompanied by a monastery that got destroyed in 1755 due to a devastating earthquake. Several years later, King Ferdinand II purchased the damaged place to transform it into the fanciful red and yellow palace it is today. An exotic mix of Gothic, Egyptian, Moorish, and Renaissance elements, this romantic fantasy is now listed as a part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The outside is adorned with allegorical carvings, biblical themes, and religious artifacts as well as richly painted Portuguese tiles. Peña's interior has beautiful stuccos, multi-patterned columns, Moorish arch ceilings, and a large portion of the original monastery's chapel. Many of the rooms in the palace were intended to reflect a particular cultural influence ranging from Middle Eastern to Baroque European, and that is pretty evident from what you see here. Another popular tourist attraction in the vicinity is Peña Park, which spans over 200 hectares. Because the park is located in the hills, it largely comprises uneven terrain covered by various plant species from all over the world. This unrealistic residence is undoubtedly one of the seven wonders of Portugal. If you're loving the video so far, do me a solid and smash that like button so that the YouTube algorithm can rank it faster. Number 4. Chateau de Fontainebleau the gorgeous Chateau de Fontainebleau is located in the town of Fontainebleau and is one of the largest royal French chateaux. Numerous springs in the surrounding forests and an abundance of wildlife inspired the construction of a hunting lodge, which eventually evolved into a castle during the medieval times and later 
became a palace for France's monarchs, beginning with Louis VII and ending with Napoleon III. Therefore, it's a reflection of centuries of evolving French art and architecture. Boasting an area of 300 acres with centuries of stories in its walls and a whopping 1500 rooms, every aspect of this palace has been touched by history. The chateau is famous for its grand horseshoe staircase that leads to the palace's front door. It also has the world's largest Jeu de Palm court, the only imperial palace with royalty residing in it continuously for seven centuries, Chateau de Fontainebleau is a national museum and was awarded UNESCO World Heritage Site status in 1981. Number 3. Schönbrunn Palace As far as palaces go, the fabulously baroque Schönbrunn Palace in Vienna is a serious beauty and a big one at that. It has an impressive 1441 rooms. It was originally built as an imperial hunting lodge by Emperor Leopold I for his son and served as the Habsburg monarch's summer palace in the 18th century till around 1918. The huge palace includes numerous rare relics from Austria's longest reigning royal line. Inside there are beautifully painted ceilings, massive mirrors and shimmering crystal chandeliers while the outdoors feature more than 400 acres of groomed gardens with trickling fountains and ornate statues. It is in common knowledge that you can also spend the night here at the palace, book the grand suite and pretend you're a part of the Habsburg dynasty. Number 2. Winter Palace The most recent version of the Winter Palace spans 645,000 square feet and appears to have fallen from a Wes Anderson film or a fancy wedding cake with its mint, gold and ivory exterior. This Baroque-style masterpiece is St. Petersburg's most famous landmark and one of the most extravagant palaces in the world. The interior is as luxurious, which is a tall order considering the exterior's gilded promise. There are 1057 rooms in total, including the vibrant red not-so-small small throne hall, flush with velvet and gold embellishments. In addition, there are 1,945 windows and 1,786 entrances so that you don't have to use the same door twice. The Winter Palace is packed with columns, artworks and statues such as those on the Jordan Staircase. Today a large part of the palace houses Russia's largest art museum, the State Hermitage Museum. It holds a massive collection of over 3 million artworks and was founded by Catherine the Great in 1764 when she acquired an impressive collection of paintings. The collection is scattered across numerous buildings in the palace embankment and its surrounding area, with Winter Palace housing collections of Egyptian antiquities, jewelry and fine art from Russia and other European countries. Number 1. Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace, the Grand Dame of British royal palaces, is Her Majesty the Queen's residence as well as the monarchy's administrative center. However, it has not always appeared as grand as it does now. The mansion was built in 1703 for the Duke of Buckingham as a large townhouse. It wasn't until the late 1820s that it was transformed into a palace. George IV, who inherited the house from his father, set about transforming it into an opulent royal residence. Unfortunately, George IV died before the palace was finished and Queen Victoria was the first monarch to call Buckingham Palace home. The palace now includes 775 rooms, including 240 bedrooms, 78 bathrooms and 19 staterooms. Its neoclassical facade has become a global emblem of Britain providing as a backdrop for many significant royal moments. During the summer, the sparkling state rooms are usually exposed to the public. The deep red throne room and the grandiose ballroom are among the most spectacular. On top of being able to take a sneak peek behind the scenes of a working palace, visitors can feast their eyes on paintings by the likes of Rembrandt, Rubens, Vermeer and Poussin too. 
So that's our story in the most luxurious palaces in the world, but what about the most luxurious castles? Click here to watch the next video, or here's one that YouTube thinks is best for you.